Hi, I'm Aditya. I work at Facebook. Um, when I'm not working on compiler optimizations, like hot code splitting or function merging, I'm trying to um, incorporate better software engineering methodologies at my workplace as a step one to improve better software quality. I thought enabling compiler warning would be a good idea. Compiler warnings are very precise or almost precise static analysis tools. So that that is a very good way to um, find bugs. And I'm, I'll be sharing some of the interesting ones and some of the scary ones. Um, when we enable WL, it'll just bunch, print a bunch of text on the console, which nobody cares about. But when we add W error, then it be, people start paying attention. <laughs> so this is the first one. Um, this is not very uncommon when it, to find a function which returns bool, but if you miss parentheses, things get can get out of hand based because a function returning bool may return true or false, but a pointer is always evaluates to true because pointers are not null up for a function. So the next one is not uncommon as well. Basically, this is classical example of copy paste when we try to assign variable and we forget to remove underscore. And it's very common to have a prefix for member variables and not for the local variables. And we kind of forget because we are trying to write programs kind of too fast. Um, also, I wanted to mention that we want to use, I try to uh, tell people that please use IDEs. We are not in 60s anymore. Uh, we have better IDEs. They have colors, and colors are helpful. Um, yeah, this one is a slightly scary one. Uh, there's a very popular open source library, Folly, and we have um, defined aligned free as a function call, but it is not uncommon to find some code bases where people have macro, uh, like has defined uh, aligned free as free. And now if your program has memory leak, you are fine, but if your program tries to free memory, you are in trouble. This is the most scariest one. Not on the left side, but on the right side. The left side program, it is still okay because there's on the top, there's using namespace stood. So the program is not, there is no correctness issue there, but probably people were trying to type too fast. Instead of colon, probably they pressed enter. But on the right side, the case statements are missing. So the case keyword is missing. I'll try to settle this for a second. <laughs> and let's imagine that this function tries to take care of some severity condition in a system. And it's a good exercise to put this code in Godbolt and try to see what is the assembly output of this one. Um, not too surprising, but actually this function would do nothing because default will supersede all the unused labels. Um, this is a very common one. And the, the, you, if you are not enabled WL, and if you enable this, you might find multiple instances of this one. Um, basically, um, we try to take integers for granted, and basically many types which are convertible, um, uh, implicitly convertible to other types for granted, and uh, if you don't have um, uh, like overloaded virtual warning enabled, there can be trouble. Okay, um, we have a large code base. So how to enable a W all? It's not a, like possible for like one human being in a, uh, in, in a matter of days or weeks. It takes a while. And some people might get scared and try to do like by per directory or per project. And that's a big route of troubles because um, it's not consistent and it takes um, if you leave the project in between, then uh, it's even a bigger mess. So what I did was, 
that I enable W all for the entire code base at once. Um, not entire means entire code base I cared about, which is already extremely big. Um, but then um, in, you start compiling as many possible targets. Sorry. Oh, time up? Yep. Oh, sorry. You're all done. I'm done. Thank you. <laughs>